Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. To complete the project, we need to submit two URLs. One is for the demo video and another one is GitHub link. We already uploaded a video on how to record the demo video and also how to submit the URL in the skill wallet. If you haven't seen that video, I added the link in description and also comment box to check out the video and complete it accordingly. Today, I will explain you about the files that we have to upload in GitHub and also the easy way to upload the folders and about how to submit the GitHub link in the skill wallet. We will see each and everything in a step by step order. Let's start the video. The very first thing that we need to do is we need to prepare a documentation for the project. So this is the documentation that I prepared for the Handsman Threads project. And also there are some guidelines to create this document. The first thing is we should have to create the document in a professional way. And also we should have to add the clear headings, subheadings and also the bullet points for easy reading. And we must follow the same font style and size Preferably Times New Roman as font and also 12 or 13 as font size. We must align the content properly with no grammatical mistakes. And the sections to include in project document are First one is overview of the project that is nothing but abstract of the project. And then we need to add the objective of the project. After that we need to add detailed explanation of project phases. But before that, I added this technology description section. So in that, I added all the technologies that I used like Salesforce. And in that Salesforce, I used the custom objects, tabs, custom apps, profiles and all. So I have written the small description of explaining all those. And then... I added the detailed execution of the project phases including developer or creation, custom objects creation and then lightning app and all. And we need to provide only the necessary details but don't add step by step instructions like go to home and then click on this lightning app and then click on the create lightning app like that. Just add the necessary details that we need. We can add the screenshots in each and every step to look the document more good. After this section, I added the project explanation with real world example. So here, I taken a random example and showed how my project is working. After that, I added the screenshots and also a small description about the image. And finally, I added the conclusion with future scope. So here, we can add the future enhancements like chatbot integration with agent force and all. Not only these sections, we can also add the testing approach and also we can add the deployment of the objects and all. So like this, I created the document. So this is about the project documentation and you all should definitely create this and we need to upload this into GitHub. The next one we need to upload to GitHub is screenshots. So here are the screenshots and I used these screenshots in the project document also. So when I upload all these screenshots separately to GitHub, then it won't look good. That's the reason I'm creating a new folder. And I am naming the folder it as screenshots. And then I will add all these screenshots to the folder. So yeah, I successfully added all the screenshots to the folder. Now my screenshots folder is also ready to upload. And the next one I will upload in the GitHub is Apex Codes. So I used the two triggers in my project. And one is the update order total. And the next one is stock deduction trigger. So I will add these two source codes in a notepad. And then I will save it with the name. So let's see that. So here I am just creating 
a text document and naming it as update order total and after that i will copy the source code and then i will add it here after that just click on save that is control s then i will create another text document and name it as stock deduction trigger now i will copy the source code and then i will paste it here after that save this file so like this i created two text documents and these two are having the source codes of apex triggers now i will create a new folder and will name it as source codes and then i will add these two test documents into the folder so like this i completed the project documentation and screenshots folder and also the source code and also i already created the demo video of explaining the project so these are the four things that we should need to upload in github let's see how to upload all of these into github to upload all the folders into github at a time we need to install git for windows so move to your chrome browser and here search for git for windows then open this first link and here we can see that git for windows 64 setup so i am clicking on that and here i need to select the path so i am just saving in downloads after that we can see it is installed successfully so just click on that here we will get a pop up message just click s on that so these are the terms and conditions just click on next again click next and finally you will get this install button just click on install So it is installed successfully and here just click on this finish button to check whether the git is installed successfully or not open the command prompt and here type the command git space hyphen hyphen version so here we will get the version and we downloaded the version of 2.50 after installing the git we need to sign up for the github for that, I am clicking on this plus button and here search for GitHub. So here it is. If you are not having the GitHub profile, then click on this sign up button and then fill all the details and here click on this create account. Then an account will be created for you. Once you created the account, here click on this sign in button and then give your username or email address and also the password. After giving these two details, just click on this sign in button. So I have given my details and then clicking on this sign in button. Once you sign in, the dashboard will looks like this. So here we can see that create repository button. Just click on that. If you haven't find this create repository, then just click on this profile button. And here click on this your repositories. Now here also there is an option of new button, just click on this. Here we need to set the name for the repository. So I am just adding Hansman Threads project. Let's see whether it is available or not. So yeah, Hansman Threads project is available. So I am just leaving the repository name as it is. After that, don't select any of these here just click on this create repository button so this is the repository that we created now let's move to the folders so here are the folders that i need to upload before that i am creating another folder and naming it as project and also i will add all the necessary ones in this project folder the first one is we should have this project documentation and then we need the screenshots after that we need the source codes and then i am not adding this project demo video i will add the url of the demo so that's the reason 
I'm just leaving this folder as these only. So here open your project folder and then just click on this path here and type cmd. Now type it as code space dot. Then all these folders will be opened in VS Code like this. So here we can see the necessary folders are available. One is screenshots and then the source code and then the project documentation. And also I want to add the project video demo link. That's the reason I'm creating a new file and naming it as readme. So here name it as readme.md. So here I will add the video link. For that I'm typing it as link for the project demo video. Then I will add the link. So I'm moving to my Google Drive and then I will copy the link. So here click on the share and then copy the link. Then I will add it here. After that just save the file. To add all of these we need a terminal. Further click on these three dots and here click on this terminal and then click on this new terminal button. The very first command we need to add is git space in it. So it will initialize the git. After that we need to set the username. For that reason type the command as git space config space dash dash global space user dot name space and in the quotations add your name. So I am adding it as education matters and after that close the quotations and then just press enter button in the keyboard. Then we need to give our email address also. For that type the command as git space config iPhone iPhone global space user dot email space and in the quotations add the email that you sign up in the github. So I am giving the email as edumatters2021 at the rate gmail.com and then close the quotations. So here you need to add the email which you register in the github. After adding this command just click on enter in the keyboard. Then we need to add the command git space add space dot. After that press enter symbol in the keyboard. Then we need to commit the changes. For that reason move to your github repository and here we can see the commands available. So here copy this command git space branch iphan m main and then add it in the vs code just click press. After that copy this git space remote add origin and then url then paste that command in the vs code. Then we need to add the git commit iphan m first commit then add it here. So we can see the create mode of each and every file. Now we will push the files into the github. So add the final command that is git push iphan u origin main and then press enter symbol in the keyboard. So here it asking for the github sign in. Here click on the sign in with your browser. So it automatically taken my github details just click on this authorize git ecosystem. And here we can see the files are uploaded successfully. So let's move to your repository and here just refresh the page. We can see that all we added are uploaded. The screenshots, source code, handsman threads documentation and finally the readme file. So here we can see the link of the project demo video. Like this we need to upload the folders in github. So let's see how to upload this github url in skill wallet. To get the url of this repository just click on this drop down near to the code and here is the url of your repository. Just click on this copy symbol. Now move to your skill wallet account and here click on this add github link. Just add the link that you copied and also at the end remove this dot git. So if you remove this dot git at the end then only the link will get updated. So I just removed that dot git. So I am just clicking on this update github link. 
so yeah the github link is updated successfully so we uploaded the demo video and also we uploaded the repository now move to this kanban and here drag and drop all the cards into the to be reviewed section so we can see that status changed successfully message like that we need to drag and drop all the cards which are available here with this video we have covered everything you need for your project including the demo video and also the github link and also project video on handsman threads we have already shared videos on the project explanation and trailhead modules earlier and we truly hope all our efforts have been helpful to you if you found this content useful please support us by subscribing the channel and share it with your friends it really helps us grow and reach more learners like you that's all for the video thank you